Hey gang, Jack Lair here, and uh, today we're going to do a, an unboxing of the Tabula Rasa Limited Collector's Edition. Now let's start by just taking a look at the box. Uh, the box has, the detail is all in the, the foil, and it's actually printed really nice. Of course it has the obligatory warning that since it's an MMO, or was an MMO, is it still if it's not? online anyways and it has the usual uh, specs blah 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 and they printed this stuff weird on the sides to where every time you turn this box you feels like you're holding it upside down it does come with a whole lot of stuff though pictures of it on the back and of course it's Richard Gary it's Tabula Rasa for those of you who don't know who that is uh, he was one of the chief minds behind uh, the Ultima series and he was known as Lord British for a while he's also gone to space and I believe is one of the people who is actually helping uh, get us into space now now of course there is a uh, attention to orders which I think is really cool I just like the the fact that there is cannon in the box and of course it's signed by General British I kind of wonder if there's a uh, audio file of him reading that somewhere. I guess that's one of the things I would always love to have. Starting with the the box, oh, we'll get to that side in a minute. But it's got uh, little flaps full of stuff. Let's take it out of the box. And the case is actually fairly nice. It feels like one of the old school PC boxes where when they still cared about what the boxes looked like. Uh, trial codes included, security credentials. It's got the card in there, security card. It's actually got the game time on it. It's also got this nice coin and dog tags. Uh, the dog tags actually say Tabula Ross on them. Normally I'm opposed to dog tags being in the game. Something about me being in the military that just doesn't jive well with uh, what I'm used to. So here they are. And like I said, they see Richard Garriott's Tabula Ross on them. Nothing uh, particularly wrong with them. Uh, I will give credit to them though. They're actually made on the correct type of metal. Which is non-metallic, or not non-metallic, non-magnetic. Excuse me. And there's the coin, which actually is really nice. Uh, it kind of looks like the same coin, and it does have a bit of heft to it. It's kind of the same thing that you would get if you were to uh, run a marathon or something like that. There's the security card. A little closer look. Uh, I just love the logo for this game. If I were ever to be uh, stupid enough to get a tattoo of a video game character, that's, I think that's one of the ones I would go with. Uh, trial codes included. Play smart. This is when they were still the ECA. And NCSoft 10 years of gaming. So it shows uh, a lot of the background there. We've got City of Villains, uh, Guild Wars, City of Heroes, the Tabula Rasa thing, Aeon. I forgot that they did Aeon. But I guess most people have forgotten Aeon by now. But, so, you know, a bunch of cool stuff. mostly promotional stuff. Then we get to one of the kind of the cooler things. I love these and I wish I had a place where I could just collect them all, but they're the quick reference cards and it's showing you that stuff. But then you get in here and it shows you the keyboard layout and what all the keys do. Now for some reason games have stopped doing this or at least they don't give a nice full color fold out to explain it. And I kind of miss those. Uh, I don't want to go as far as the overlays that they used to give you. 
And this is just a giant poster. Uh, I wish it didn't have the crease marks. Uh, I don't know if framing it would make those go away anymore. Freedom's last line of defense. But, you know, it's really cool. Uh, I don't want to put it up because it would ruin the set. I just have fun keeping it all complete. Uh, the AFS field guide, essentially the art book and kind of behind the scenes. I mean, it's kind of cool. It goes into some of the details of what describing what you're looking at, what the art's from. I don't know. It's actually a really nice read, especially if you're a fan of the game. You can pick this collector's edition up still on Amazon, which is what I did. Uh, because sadly the official servers no longer work and the people who were trying to run their own servers kind of got uh, shut down. So now we get into the classified material. Which is actually just maps. Now this is really cool because instead of doing the, the cloth map they're actually, they actually look like glossy photos that, you know, you see in the spy novels, everybody, where they give you the, the printouts, these are your documents, you will need them. And of course, there's the game. That's the last option. Now, there was a jump cut there because uh, getting that thing in and out of that sleeve is kind of annoying. And it's got the the actual game disc which doesn't work anymore and then it's got the behind the scenes and that's a DVD it's actually a really cool DVD um, I'm pretty sure that if I show any footage of it I would get sued into oblivion so just pretend that you've seen some of that and we'll go from there uh, now I'll pack everything up kinda I'm still uh, fairly impressed by everything and I'm really sad that this game there's a long sordid story behind it uh, if you actually want to go and uh, read some of it just search what what happened and I mean there's enough there's enough mud to be slung all the way around well there you have it uh, that's my first uh, unboxing video of Tabula Rasa the limited collector's edition as always play on <laughs>